Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and today I want to show you how to set up grouped products in WooCommerce. Uh, I have had quite a few questions about uh, what group, asking what group products are and how to set them up. So what I'm going to do is just go through a full example here of actually setting uh, one up from start to finish so you get the idea of how to do it and how you could possibly use it on your site. Uh, right now I'm out on WorldCupTees.com, our, our WooCommerce demo site. So the product that we're going to be setting up is a PlayStation 4 and you're going to see as we go through this process of how using the group uh, product option would be really helpful for this type of a product. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into it and uh, you'll get the hang of it as we go. So if I log into the WordPress admin and I go to uh, products and then just add a product, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a parent product. So we're just going to go through the process of creating this new product and in this case it's going to be uh, a PlayStation 4 and then I'm going to go ahead and paste in my long description just like I would with any normal product so I have a title uh, long description and then I would just select a category um, in this case I'll just add a new product category and we'll call it uh, gaming and then if I scroll down to product data I'm going to change it from simple product to group product Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. That's all I'm going to do is just change it to group product for product data. And then I'm going to set a featured image. I'm going to select my image and upload it. And I'm going to click on set featured image. So there's my featured image. And if I scroll down, I would paste in, um, I would just give it a short description as well. I'll just copy some of the long descriptions from this dummy text here. And scroll down and paste it into the short description. Alright, so that's all you have to do for the parent product of this group product. Uh, give it its title, PlayStation 4, give it a long description, select the category, then change this product data to group product and leave it at that, and then set your featured image and uh, insert a pr uh, short description for the product and then go up to the top and publish your product. Alright, so this is uh, the step one of creating a, a group product. Now what we have to do now that we have our main product is we have to create child or children products, child products I guess, whatever however you want to call them. Um, and to do that we're going to just go back into products and we're going to say add product. And so now we're going to create our first child product of our parent uh, PlayStation 4 uh, product. So the first, so what we're going to do is we're just going to enter a title. This one's just going to be uh, PlayStation 4 80 gigabytes. All right, and then I'm going to leave the long description blank. I'm not going to worry about a product category. I'm just going to scroll down to product data and leave, I'm going to leave it as a simple product. I'm going to give it a regular price of 150, and then I'm going to click on linked at uh, linked products, and in this grouping drop down, I'm going to select PlayStation 4. All right, that's the parent uh, group product. I'm not going to do anything for short description. Uh, I'm not going to worry about an image. I'm just going to go ahead and go up to the top. One last step that's important is for catalog visibility, click on edit, and then I'm going to uh, select the hidden radio button here because I don't want this child product to be a standalone product. I just want it to show up um, in our main PlayStation 4 product. So I'm going to select hidden here and I'm going to say OK and then publish. OK, so now that that's published, let's go out to the site. All right, so if I scroll down, you'll see here is our PlayStation 4 group product if I click on it you'll see PlayStation 4 150 and you'll see that child product that we just created show up right here where they could select select it and add to the cart but we're gonna now add a PlayStation 4 120 gigabyte and a PlayStation 4 200 gigabyte alright so I'll just to give you a full example of, of how uh, group products work so if I go back into the admin and I just click add product we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to create another child product. And then this one's going to be PlayStation 4 uh, 120 gigabytes. So I'm going to copy the title here. And in the title field, I'm just going to paste that in. No need to put a long description. Uh, for catalog visibility, I'm going to change this to hidden. Click OK. I'm going to scroll down to product data, leave it as a simple product. I'll give it a price of uh, $200 and then I'm going to click on linked products 
and for grouping I'm going to choose PlayStation 4 and then I'm going to go ahead and publish that okay and I'm going to add one more child product so I'm going to click on add products we'll, we'll add a PlayStation 4 uh, 200 gigabyte okay so let me just copy this title I'll paste that in PlayStation 4 200 gigabyte for catalog visibility change it to hidden OK. Scroll down. Leave it as a simple product for product data. We'll give it a price of 250 Click on linked products. And let's choose the, for grouping, let's choose PlayStation 4 again. And then go ahead and publish that product, the child product. All right, so let's go out to the site and see what that looks like. I'm going to refresh this page. And we should see options now for PlayStation 4 120 gigabyte and 200 gigabyte as well. So there it is. So you see this has changed up here from well it'll say from 150 starting price PlayStation 4 and then if you scroll down you'll see your options for an 80 gigabyte, a 120, a 200 gigabyte and they can just select them and add them to the cart. So it's kind of a grab and go option um, uh, is what really what WooCommerce group products are. Um, they're great for you know electronic type stuff like uh, for example like an iPad um, a 16 gigabyte, a 32, a 64. Um, uh, there's many different uh, uh, types of products, I guess, that could um, uh, be set up uh, using this group product method. Um, so hopefully this gives you an idea of kind of what group products are in WooCommerce and how to set them up. Again, the main thing is first just set up your parent product like a normal product. Just uh, set the the product data to group product for that parent and then just set your um, create the child products and you don't have to worry about adding a description or images or anything you just have to uh, make sure to click on link products and then select the actual group that you want them to be group products you want them to be part of and set the price and then go ahead and for uh, catalog visibility uh, put them uh, as hidden and you'll get uh, a nice looking group product like this so hopefully uh, this is helpful. If you have questions on this, please feel free to ask. The best way to reach us is by posting a comment out on uploadwp.com. We check uh, site comments on a daily basis, so uh, that's the best way to get a hold of us. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. Again, my name is Adam, and we'll see you in the next one.